name is Krisha. She is 17, a high school student with big dreams and talent to match. And get this, Erin, she's up for the top spot in a worldwide competition. I'm impressed, and I'm sure you will be too. Okay, I had a goal um, of what I wanted to do, and then I just looked up techniques on how I do it. Krisha Giovanni, a senior at Conant High School in Hoffman Estate, is one of 15 finalists in the world competed in the Breakthrough Junior Challenge. So what is quantum levitation? Simply put, it's making an object hover in midair using only a magnet. The annual competition involves creating a video that brings to life a concept or theory in the life sciences, physics, or math. I picked magnetic levitation, so I wanted to do a physics topic because I felt like I could do something cool with like special effects with physics. If we could somehow find a superconductive material that could reach zero resistance without needing to be cooled, we could build our power lines with it and save a lot of energy and money. It all started when Krisha got an email about the competition in her inbox. Fast forward, and it could lead to a big payoff, not just for her, but for Conant and one of her favorite teachers. It's a $250,000 scholarship for the student, and then their school would get a $100,000 lab built, like a science lab. The teacher they would nominate would get 50 k as well. I'm hoping that this will inspire other people, not just girls, but like students in general, to like uh, just try things and hope for the best and put all their effort in. Rich Cortez has been a computer science teacher at Conant for 26 years, and he's taught Krisha since she was a freshman. He's ecstatic about her future. I'm amazingly proud. You are like one of the, the, the kids that I saw grow from that time as a freshman that I knew that you weren't into computer science, and I thought you might have dropped. And you continued on, and you persevered, and you have grown into this young woman that is going to change the world. And I am so glad to be part of it. Get it, Krisha. She's down to the final five out of 11,000 entries. She'll find out by November 3rd whether she's won. Now it's up to a panel of experts. Of course, we're all rooting for her. By the way, she learned to edit her video all on her own using YouTube. Right now, she's looking at a future in chemical engineering and computer science. Good luck to her. Absolutely.